Jaya, ha, how to blast positive energy in you, in other people around the world. You know, we are energy masters. This is what we are aiming for. In the vital tantra system that I teach or coach people on, the whole idea is very simple. It's energetic mastery. It is about mastering environments, mastering your own system, mastering life around you. And by mastering, I don't mean controlling, I mean being able to surf the waves of energy, being able to surf the lights, the shadows, playing with different energetic environments, whether you are in urban environments, in nature, in different countries with different people, business environments, artistic environments, social environments. The goal, in my opinion, is to be able to master those different environments, to be able to play with them. And if you think for yourself, here are the environments in which I can function. All of that is out of range. I'm not comfortable when I'm in certain social situations. I'm not comfortable when I'm in you know, certain nature environments. I'm not comfortable when this kind of energy is present. You know, the whole point of the whole idea is that you're able to surf any weather, any environment that you're comfortable in cities, in nature, that you're comfortable with different moods, different energies. That's what I call energetic mastery. So how to blast positive energy has a lot to do with you, your being, your system, being a very clear channel for transmission, for activation. If right now you check your energy level and you go like, maybe I'm at 50%, 60%, 70%. How do you raise your vibration? How do you raise your frequency? How do you go from a certain state to a higher energy state within five minutes? What are your options? What do you do? And it doesn't mean that being in a low state of energy or being in a negative state of energy, you know, in a shadow state, being self-absorbed or worried, you know, I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm saying that if you want to be on a high, then it's a choice that you have to make and that you can make. Right now, we are discovering more and more our ability to function with frequencies. It's like entering into a flow, entering into a river, entering into a certain road or pathway. You have crossroads, you know, it's like different energy channels that you can choose. And then the idea is like, what do you choose? Because the choice is yours. You decide on which frequency you want to function. You can decide to be in conflict or in peace. You can decide to create and build harmony or build challenge for others. And so in realizing that this is a choice, in realizing that this is a conscious choice that you can make, it makes you realize that it has to do with the way you use your energy, you use your frequency, you use your vibration. You are an energy being, right? And so how do you select? How do you choose for these different roads or these different pathways? The way you choose for one or the other is by realizing that you can function in a positive mindset, in positive energy, in out burst and, and overflows of positive vibe and you can also function in zones of negative energy challenge you know that's possible as well but the core idea to realize the, here it is that it is a choice and if you're not comfortable with blasting your system with high energy and high vibration and high frequency then ask yourself this simple question what is missing and what is missing is very simple. Very often, it is our inability for our system, for our body, for our energy body to take high degrees of energy. It's really that simple. The goal of yoga, of Hatha yoga, of taking yoga postures, it is to prepare your physical system and your energy system to be able to take more. It's very simple. That's what it prepares you to. Once you start activating the flow of mystical bliss in your system, what tends to happen 
is that naturally the pipes open up and actually you're going to receive, download and access much more overflow of energy. And so your system, your body, your mind, all that are pipes, an energy system, energy muscles that you can train, that you can activate. This is why I believe that all these energy, energy techniques that I'm teaching you, you know, the dynamic breathing and the shaking and the mantras and the shaktisanas and all that stuff, all that is aimed at opening channels of energy in your system so that you can activate and have an overflow of energy and an overflow of resources, of energetic resources that you can then invest into whatever you want. And so bring this to the awareness, to this very simple awareness, that this energy system, your mind, your emotions, your feelings, your energy body, your physical body, all that is your responsibility. It means that it's you, it's your container, it's your vehicle. And you are the one who can decide or choose how it functions, how clear it is. In a couple of hours, I'm going to go to the river nearby and put my whole being on the streaming waterfall of energy, literally water streaming through my system. And that water is going to clear my system. It's going to detoxify me on a physical level. It's going to detoxify me on an energetic level. It's going to remove toxins. It's going to remove uh, negative thinking blockages that I might have, maybe tensions that are, might be accumulated throughout the day is going to release and create this flow of energy. If you don't have access to a waterfall, you can do the same through the energy techniques and through the energy practices. But to, what I want to inspire you in this video is to make you realize that how much energy streams through you, how much energy you can access really depends on the daily choice that you make. It depends on the choice of frequency on which you want to function. And once you start realizing that, this is the core element. It is that you are the conscious designer of your energy states. Of course, you have circumstances, you have impact from environment and people around you, but you are the one who has the greatest influence over all that. If there is something in your field that is negatively impacting on you, then you can choose to be exposed to it or not. You can put boundaries, you can put limits. You can distance yourself from something that is toxic, from foods that are toxic. Who is eating the food? You know, you have the choice between a healthy meal and an unhealthy meal. <laughs> Who is going to eat that? You do, right? And then if you witness your energy state in the couple of hours that follow, you eating that food. You can witness it. There is an action and then there is a reaction. It works for foods, it works for everything that impacts in your system. If you decide to take a trip in the middle of the city at rush hour and get stuck in traffic jams, who is making the choice to be in that car at that moment? Sometimes you don't have the choice, okay, I agree. But a lot of situations, a lot of the things that happen in your life, you have the choice. You have the choice to design how the day is going to look like and the kind of energies that you're going to be exposed to. So are those energies that are coming to your field refreshing, creating space, opening, you know, opening spaces inside of you? Are they contracting you, stressing you up, draining you? filling you up with toxins. 
it is a choice. It is a conscious design. It is something that you can consciously design. Once you start realizing that, understanding it on that level, then everything shifts. Because you realize that you are not a victim of circumstances. When you wake up in the morning and you go like, somebody asks you, right? How are you feeling today? And you go like, yeah, I'm feeling good or bad. Here is what's happening. You know, I have these feelings and these impressions in my system. And very often we'll talk about it as if, as if this was fixed, as if that was our reality. But those are just the waves on the surface of the mind. They are not your deepest identity. They're like a shirt that you allow yourself to put on. You go like, oh, here is a shirt. He is, it's going to be green or gray or blue or brown or red. You put it on and then you wear it the whole day and you go like, yeah, this is my mood today. And it's like, it's not fixed. The fact that this mood happens to be around doesn't mean that you have to adopt it. You can go like, um, no, today I'm going to be red, today I'm going to be white, today I'm going to be black or blue. Today I'm going to be gray. I just want to be gray. It's like, sure, be gray if you want to, but realize that it's your choice. You are the one who is putting on these emotions. You are the one who is holding on to them. You are the one who is deciding to attach yourself and identify yourself with this. So if you want to blast yourself with energy, all you need to do is to start adopting more of these mindsets. It's very simple. What gives you energy? Start looking for these things. Start aiming in the direction of what is going to impact on you with high frequency and high vibration. And in the process of doing that, you will start focusing and channeling and listening more and more to the frequencies that give you positive vibes. It's a choice. And again, in the process of what I'm saying here, there is no judgment. You know, when I say positive vibes, it's just a word. There is no negative and positive. There is just states of being, if we want to look at it from that way. But you know that there are certain things or certain energies or certain vibes or frequencies that feel good to your system and others that don't. There are certain energies that make you feel uncomfortable, but it's positive discomfort because it stretches you. It's open space in the process of this... You know, with this opening of channels, then it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. So there is this positive discomfort that arises when you have lots of energy coming into your system. So I'm not judging. I'm not saying to you how you are supposed to use your energy or the states of mind that you can embrace or don't embrace, this is your choice. What I'm saying precisely is that it's up to you. And if you want more energy in your system, if you want to be blasted by life force and energy, it's something that you can access right now. It's within range and it's within your potential.